we are going to look into the world and we are also going to pray. It is a privilege to have come into your home. We do not take it for granted. We want to thank you for sharing your home with us. The Lord bless you and honor you on every side. Let's go into the scripture, the Bible, the yardstick, the manual that Jehovah Elohim has given to us as mankind, the solution on the face of the earth. I want to start reading from the book of Mark, Mark chapter 5, Mark chapter 5, and from verse 1, if you have your Bible, please turn with me to the book of Mark chapter 5 from verse 1. We want to deal with what I call reoccurrence of evil. In other words, legion that refuse to leave our region. The legion that refuse to leave our region. And we will establish that in the scripture and then we will pray for about 10 seconds. I start reading from the book of Mark chapter 5. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the countries of the gatherings. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs, a man with unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, nor, no, not with chains, because he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and, he, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him. And the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, verse 5, and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. And when Jesus saw, and when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. And he cried out with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God, I adjure thee by God, that thou torment me not. For, verse 8, For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to pause there right now. The man said, my name is Legion, for we are many. Legion is a kind of a word that is used in the military in the olden days. We can compare it to the battalions of this day or regiment of this day. But in those days, it's called Legion, you know, because thousands of soldiers coming together uh, to, to fight a battle. So you can imagine when legions of demons inside one man and that's why the bible described the situation as he now lives in the graveyard he no longer lives among human the bible described that no man can tame him the bible described that he will cut himself and he will bleed the bible described that he lives in the mountains and he will be crying day and night. In other words, that foul legion has been tormenting this man. But we can see things that reoccur all the time, like cutting himself is a reoccurrence all the time. Living in the mountains is a reoccurrence all the time. No man could tame him is a reoccurrence all the time. The chains and the fetters that has been used for this man many times, he would just destroy them like as if he's tearing down a piece of paper. So that also is a reoccurrence all the time. And also is a, is, is a norm, is, the, is a normal thing for people to see him and say there is fire on the mountain, run, run, run. So you see that people will just disappear. The fact that the Bible says no man could tame him, that tells you something. Man is, we, we, we are the kind of a species among all that God has created. We like to be in control. We like to be in charge. But this is a situation that is beyond human reasoning, is beyond human understanding. And the Bible says, Jesus asked, what is your name? And he said, Legion, for we are many. Legion, for we are many. And that's where we get the word Legion over our region. 
when you look at our life as individuals, we will see some things that reoccur. Most times, some of us is like 10, 10 years. Some of us is like five, five, five years. Some of us is like a pattern every year, every year. So the same way we can see some pattern in the life of this man, cutting himself is a pattern. Bleeding is a pattern. Living in the graveyard is a pattern. Crying day and night is a pattern. Isolation on the mountain is a pattern. So we have seen many patterns that do not befit this man. Because normally when men go to graveyard, they have, they have gone there to bury the dead. And the next thing is they want to leave. But this is the home to this man. This is the abode. This is the dwelling place to this man. In other words, that is not right. When people go to the mountain, except you live, you have your, your, your building on the mountain. We can go to the mountain to see views. Or like the Bible says, Jesus went to the mountain to pray. So we can do that on the mountain. And then the next thing is we want to come down and live in the midst of our loved ones. But this man now, can no longer live in the midst of his loved ones. And that tells me that the situation is critical. By God, every critical situation in your life, there shall be divine intervention in the name of Jesus. What is our first prayer point before we go further? That every legion, in other words, every demonic power that says, yes, we are many, the Bible says, God, Jesus asked him, what is your name? He says, I am legion for we are many. And that's why you see all the foul patterns in the life of this man. But by God, the presence of Jesus subdued that foul pattern. And we are going to pray, people of God, that every legion over my region, that the presence of the Most High begin to subdue them right now. That's why the Word of God says, He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Most High. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Fortress is a place of power that you can hide behind. Fortress is like a shield. Fortress is like when the arrow come, the fortress will hinder or be the barrier that will stop the arrow and the pestilence from getting to your domain. So I want you to lift up your voice right now wherever you are watching this or you are listening to this, that Father, I come against every legion over my region. I come against every reoccurrence of evil. I come against every foul patterns in the name of Jesus. Jesus, it shall no longer be established in my life. I, I disorganize that legion in the name of Jesus. I disorganize that foul pattern in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Christ Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. Thank God for the word of God that has given us enlightenment to see situation and to see how demonic power operate. So people People of God, wherever you are, I want you to stand in the spirit realm right now and begin to confront all the legion, begin to confront every reoccurrence of evil, begin to confront every foul pattern, begin to confront whatever comes into your life that de that disintegrates your life, that, that degrades your life. The Bible says, David escaped into the killing distress. There are men in death. So they themselves, they need comfort. They themselves, they need some, some solution for the stress of their life. But by God, all these became things of the past. So I want to stand with you. I want us to keep praying together right now. We are praying together that every, maybe death is the reoccurrence in your own life. Maybe distress is the reoccurrence in your own life. I don't know what it is that reoccur, that is the form of a legion over your region. I mean, legion, legion 
over your region. I don't know, but I know a name that is above every other name. The Bible says that the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Christ Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. You can see the demonstration. The moment this guy saw Jesus from afar, the Bible says he ran towards Jesus and he began to worship him. So all these foul spirits must worship God in your life. They must acknowledge the presence of the Most High in your life. But unless you rise up and begin to call the name that is above every other name, many times we Christians, we don't know who we are. The Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in you. So no, no matter how great the circumstances may be, no matter how great the situation may be outside, the Bible describes that whoever lives in the inside of you, if you are a child of the Most High, that you have been purchased by the power that is in the blood, and you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you have been baptized, you have repented from all the sins you you no longer live the old ways anymore. The Bible describes that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So whatever situation that has come as a legion is outside there. It's not in you. So you can stand up by the power of resurrection and destroy this legion over your region. Your region must experience the presence of the Most High in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the presence presence of God, there is fullness of joy. But when legion is the one over your region, that does not speak well of you as a child of the Most High. Because the Bible says, behold, all that I have created, God saw them and he says, this is good. This is beautiful. This is magnificent. And he had to say, okay, it is time to rest. Beloved, God is saying, I want to give you rest too, but you've got to fight the battle right now. You've got to fight in the name that is above every other name. You've got to address the legion over your region. You've got to address the pattern that is not favorable to your life. You've got to address that situation that you, you go forward one minute and you go backward ten times. It's got to be addressed in the name of Jesus because you you are the image of the Most High. You are the Son of the Most High. You have been purchased by the power that is in the blood. Nothing on the face of the earth can buy you outright but the blood of Jesus. But the blood of Jesus. And if you realize this, you are powerful. You are not just anybody. You are somebody in Christ Jesus. And you speak life into that situation. You call for the name of Jesus like back Timothy did. He called the name. He says, Jesus, son of David. He had to call him to the origin of his father. He called. And the Bible says, Jesus stopped. Why did he stop? Because at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue confess that Christ Jesus is Lord. In the next 10 seconds, I want you to look at the right, to look at the left, look at the south, look at the north. I don't know where this region, I mean this legion over your region is coming from. But by opening your mouth and say, according to the book of Luke chapter 2, it says, whenever you pray, say. I want you to begin to say. I'm not asking you to meditate right now. I'm not asking you to pray in your heart right now. I'm asking you to say, address that situation in the name of Jesus, that no more the occurrence of evil, no more the occurrence. We are dealing with the legion over your region. We are dealing with every evil pattern that has not favored your life. We are dealing with every foul pattern pattern that keep reoccurring all the time. When you look at the life of the children of Israel, you will see that there is a pattern in their life. Though the pattern was subdued by God because they see them as, as, as a threat. They saw the, every country saw the children of Israel as a threat. And that's why you see the pattern that they have to fight all the time. But look at it. Every time they go to war with Jehovah on their side, there is also a pattern in their life, pattern of victory. Why not ask God to launch you into the realm of victory? Why not ask God to launch you into the realm and the pattern of victory day by day in the name of Jesus? Because you have not been created. You have, you didn't create 
create you so that you can be defeated. You were created to defeat. And that's why I love the book of Psalm 2 verse 7. It said, you will declare the decree that you Today, you, being the child of the Most High, you were begotten today. Hey, praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to address that legion in the next 10 seconds. Begin to address the legion. Begin to address the legion because you have come in the name that is above every other name. And the legion will not have a choice but to worship the name of Jesus in your life. The legion will not have a choice. The, the legion has no say in this because the final say is in the hands of your father. The final say is in the hands of the son. Holy Ghost is God the final say. And when God says yes, who can say no? God spoke to that legion. He said, come out of him. And that legion did not have a say in it. All the legion did was to say, okay, please, if you ask me to leave this place, don't let me leave this region. What is the legion that refused to leave your region? You can stand up right now and begin to address it. For there is a name that prevails over the affairs of man. When you look at the life of Isaac, you will discover that the Bible says there was a famine. Apart from the famine in the days of Abraham. So Abraham fought famine. Isaac came and Isaac had to fight the same famine. But different times. But they fought the same thing. When you look at the life of Isaac, the Bible says they went down to Jera in the Philistines. Somebody who happens to be in authority authority grabbed the wife. The same way Abraham went down to Egypt, the wife was also grabbed. Thank God for divine intervention. What is this reoccurrence of pattern? What have you seen in the life of your father? And you can see the same pattern in your life and you begin to wonder what is this? How come my father fought this legion and I'm also fighting this legion? It's as a result that the legion did not leave your region. The legion choose to fight your father and he's saying okay since i'm still in this region i can fight anyone any offspring from this man but by god it shall not be so in the name of jesus because there is a name that is above every other name and at the mention of the name of jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that christ jesus is lord to the glory of the father in the name of jesus i stand in agreement with you right now that every legion over your region be subdued in the name of Jesus. We come against every form of legion right now and we cast them out in the name of Jesus. Ah, we declare your region to be free of the same legion your forefathers uh, had to deal with in the name of Jesus because the blood is speaking over you right now the blood of Jesus that knew no sin huh? the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary that we may have life and have it abundantly and so by the power that is in the blood we come against every legion in the name of Jesus over your region in the name of Jesus, we come against every pattern that has not glorified God. In the name of Jesus, we subdue that evil pattern. In the name of Jesus, we break the yoke of reoccurrence of evil. In the name of Jesus, we break the yoke of reoccurrence of, of foul pattern. In the name of Jesus, it shall not stand anymore. In the name of Jesus, establishment of reoccurrence of foul pattern over you is thereby demolished in the name of Jesus because you have been called out. You have been called out. I have been called out. The Bible says we are separated. We are called to be separated. We are called to be different. We are the children of the Most High. We live in the world, but we are not of the world. And beloved, we are serving a God that answers prayer. 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 That's why Elijah said, Whoever answers with fire, let him be God. And who did? Jehovah Elohim. He answered Elijah with fire. 
and everybody bowed. Hey, Jehovah, let him be God. I declare and prophesy that Jehovah, let him be God over your life and over that situation in the name of Jesus. And above all, the kingdom of God prevail over your situation in the name of Jesus, that that thy will be done, the will of the Father be done in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you glory, honor, and adoration. We give you glory for the revelation to deal with the legion. We give you glory for the revelation to deal with the reoccurrence of evil. We give you glory for the revelation to put an end to foul patterns in our life that your name be glorified. The Bible says no man could not tame this man. The chains and the fetters that were used to bind him has no effect. In other words, if I'm in your shoe, I begin to decree and declare that every chains and fetters that has been used in my life or that is still being used right now, but broken in the name of Jesus. See, don't be deceived. Don't let any man of God or woman of God tell you that children of God cannot be bound. It is a lie. Because when you look at the life of Paul and Silas, they were Kept, they kept them in prison. They put chains and fetters upon them. When you look at the life of of uh, Peter, the apostle, the chief apostle, he was also put in prison. So the Bible says, in the world you will see tribulation. I don't know which form your tribulation will come, but whichever way, there is a name that is above every other name. There is a name that prevail and rule over the affairs of man. And that is the name Jesus. When you call the name Jesus, something spectacular happens. When you call the name Jesus, something unique that is that human being cannot explain happen. I want you to begin to declare because we have about 10 seconds we're going to round up this segment until we come your way next time but before that Please declare right now that that occurrence must come to an end. Yes, I've had I've had five miscarriages. It's a reoccurrence. It has to come to an end. Yes, I've I'm been I've, I've been with this man for ten years. I've been given back to girls, 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 girls. Who says God cannot give you a male child? You are the image of the Most High, and God did not create you anyhow. He created you in His own image, so that what God enjoys you can enjoy the dna of the father the son and the holy spirit is in you so i want you to break that joke of reoccurrence right now break that foul pattern in the name of jesus begin to break it in the name of jesus begin to break it in the name of jesus if you if i'm in your shoes right now i will pray in the spirit i will pray in my understanding because the bible says whoever speaking an unknown tongue is not speaking to man he's speaking me is only God that understand. So speak your language, speak your understanding, and speak in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No wonder that there that, that is a song that says something about the name Jesus. He is the sweetest name I know. So when you call the name, something spectacular is bound to happen. But because you cannot see it with your naked eye, you tend to believe that. But what is going on? but you don't know until you begin to enjoy the victory and by God you will enjoy the victory in the name of Jesus by God you will enjoy the victory in the name of Jesus because God said in his word in the book of Psalms says we will have comfort on every side he's only a man that enjoy victory that can speak of comfort on every side and I declare in, ag- in agreement with you that it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus so be it unto you, according to the word of God. Till we come your way next time. I want to say a very big thank you for joining us at this hour, for praying together in the name of Jesus. But one thing I'm going to say before I close, whatever you are going through, remember, keep going through and don't stop. But one thing you need to do while you are going through, pray through. The devil realized that a child of God that prayed 